Ever since, people started moving things from one place to another. They've looked for faster and more efficient solutions. Whether it was goods or people or structures, the need to get from point A to point B and beyond was the driving force. Humanity's interest in hovering vehicles started long before, similar to what you've seen in Star Wars. You may have seen flying cars in action in real life or in videos, but Japan witnessed a flying bike whooshing past them or hovering mid-air during a demonstration. The X Turismo flying bike or hover bike has been developed by a Japan-based company called Ali Technologies. It can go up to a speed of 100 kilometers per hour and hover for about 40 minutes. Ali Technologies, a Japan-based company which has been developing flying bikes for some time, has released a demonstration flight video of the world's first practical hover bike, X Turismo Limited Edition. Ali Technologies has already started to accept booking for the X Turismo Limited Edition from October the 26th. The company will only manufacture 200 units of this flying bike. The price of the X Turismo Limited Edition is 77.7 .7 million yen, roughly converted to 5.1 crore Indian rupees or about 680,000 US dollars. This includes tax and insurance premiums. During the demonstration, which was held in Japan, the X Turismo Limited Edition flying bike was seen floating in the air with a roaring sound in front of the grandstand at the Fuji Racing Track. It was also seen slowly swirling in the air while drawing a figure of eight. The X Turismo flying bike or hover bike operates electrically with an internal combustion engine which runs on petrol. The company also plans to bring out a fully electric version of this flying bike by 2025. The weight of the X Turismo flying bike is about 300 kilograms. The flying bike stands 3.7 meters in length, 2.4 meters wide and 1.5 meters in height. It could only seat a pilot for now. According to the company, the flying bike has a cruising time between 30 and 40 minutes. While the maximum speed of the hover bike has not been disclosed by the company as of now, it was seen clocking around 100 kilometers per hour during the demonstration. It's one thing to mimic Star Wars innovative technology, it's another to actually create vehicles using repulsor type solutions. The concept isn't new to science fiction. Other big franchises such as Star Trek regularly use anti-gravity tech to solve problems. Hoverboards were first described by the author M.K. Joseph in a 1967 science fiction novel and popularized by the Back to the Future film franchise. During the 1990s, there were rumors fueled by director Robert Zemeckis that hoverboards were in fact real, but not marketed because they were deemed too dangerous by parents groups. These rumors have been conclusively debunked. Several companies have drawn on hovercraft air cushion vehicle technology to attempt to create hoverboard-like products, but none have demonstrated similar experiences to the kinds of levitation depicted in science fiction films. In the 1950s, Hiller Aircraft produced the flying platform, which was similar to the modern concept of a hoverboard. The Airboard Air Cushion Vehicle was unveiled in the 2000 Summer Olympics opening ceremony in Sydney, which was manufactured and sold by Arbor Tech Industries Limited. Series 2 was unveiled in 2007. Rumors circulated in 2001 that inventor De Dean Kamen's new invention, codenamed Ginger, was a transportation device resembling 
a hoverboard. In reality, Ginger was the Segway human transporter, a self-balancing two-wheel electric scooter. In 2004, Jamie Heinemann and his team built a makeshift hovercraft for Mythbusters, dubbed the Heinemann Hoverboard, from a surfboard and leaf blower. However, Jamie's hoverboard was not very effective. In 2005, Jason Bradbury created a hoverboard for the gadget show using a wooden board that was levitated by means of a leaf blower. The original design was not propelled and could also not be steered. In 2009, a second version was made which was propelled slash steered by a small jet engine rather than as a fan with an airboat and also contained two more powerful leaf blowers. In 2011, French artist Niels Wadagny created a hovering board that floats by magnetic repulsion between it and its base, but cannot carry a load. The board includes a laser system which ensures stabilization in addition to an electromagnetic system which makes the levitation possible. In 2011, in October, the University Paris de Dorol in France presented the MagSurf, a superconducting device which levitates 3 centimeters or 1.2 inches above two magnetized repulsing floor rails and can carry up to 100 kilograms. So these were all some of the technologies that preceded Ali Technologies' X Turismo Hoverbike. So we hope you found this video interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel, which is Brain Blitz Audios. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye bye for now.